Hey, what's going on guys? It's Big Tony and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to build this stone and blackstone castle. This video is a little bit longer so let's get right into it. Alright, so first we're going to go over here and we're going to start with the main tower. It's basically going to be a big 9x9 nine nine square with stone brick in the corners and then stone in between. Now once you have that, we're going to build it up a total of 17 blocks high. So we already have one, so 16 more on top of that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And as you can see, I miscounted on the first one. So now we'll build each of the four corners up to the same height. Now once we have the four corners in, we're just going to fill in all of the walls with stone. And just cover up the entire thing with spruce planks. Now to the floor in, let's make some windows. So go down three, and then we'll make a three wide, four tall window. Now come on the other side, go four blocks down, then make a one wide, two tall window. Now on this side, we're gonna go two down from the top, and we'll place three one wide, two tall windows just like this. So of course, fill them in with glass. Now here we'll put three upside down stairs with two walls on top. Stair here, upside down stair, stair and then a slab on top. For this one we'll go with some stair. A stair, a slab, stair, and then two more stairs on the outsides. And a full block, slab, slab, and two walls on each side. Next we're going to put stairs on top of each of the walls. Put a slab just like this. Two more stairs slab on top and then a slab right here. That's it for this window. Now let's do some crenellations on the top of the tower. So let's start with an upside down stair above the stone brick and then go across with every other block. In between put full stone brick blocks and another full block on top of each one with a stair upside down stair underneath. On the corner we'll put two full blocks with a wall underneath and do the same thing on the other side over here. Now the last step is in between, put a slab in between each full block. Now we're just going to go around to each of the four sides and do the exact same thing. Now we can start working on the entryway, so we're going to start with stone brick blocks. Put one here, then go over five and put another one here. Then go over six, sorry, four, and then put a block there and one here. Now we're going to put two stone brick stairs on each side. Put them like this and then put a, two full stone brick blocks. And we'll build this up four more so that it's five blocks tall. Once you have that up to the right height, you can just go across with stone brick blocks. Now we'll build a stone wall going across like this. Now this stair has to move in by one so that it leads up to the door. Now leave a two wide three tall space just like this. And you can put two upside down stairs on each side at the top. Now I'll fill in this wall. Two blocks high will leave a one wide two tall window. 
go over five and then three and then one. Put some glass in the window. Then we'll get some stone brick stairs. Put three upside down stairs underneath the window. Then two walls on each side. Stair, stair, upside down stair, and then a slab. Now we can uh, start on the roof. So we'll get some polished black stone slabs. Go around the edge on each side. And then we'll just go up the rest of the way with stairs. Once you're finished with the stairs, at the top we're going to put slabs going across. Underneath we'll put upside down stairs. Now we can put doors in our door frames. I'm going to use dark oak doors. Double wide on each side. One thing I forgot is to put upside down stairs in the corners of the archway with stone bricks. Now we're going to put some spruce trap doors, so we'll build up four high and then open the bottom three and you can leave the fourth the fourth row. Let's go ahead and put a door inside this little fence. And now we can start working on the next part. So we'll start with a stone wall, one in from the rest and then we'll go four wide and six blocks high with a two wide four tall window in the middle. Next we're going to build a tower here. It's 5x5 five five square to start with stone break in the corners and then stone in between. Now let's start building the walls up. So we're going to put in the windows so we know how tall to make it. A full block and then a stair and then a two tall window and an upside down stair on top and a normal stair on top of that. And another two tall window with an upside down stair on top of it. And that's how tall the stone part will be. And then we'll just make a little frame out of stone bricks. Let's go all the way up and then go across. And now once we have something that looks like this, we're just going to go and build up the rest of the walls to the same height. Next I'm going to take a full stone brick block, put one on each of the four corners. On top of the full block I'll put a stone brick wall and then an iron bar on top of that. Next we'll go over to the other side of the tower over here and go across from the stone brick with stone and just connect it to the mountainside. Now we can take some polished black stone stairs to build the roof and we're going to start right here. Then we'll just go up until we get to the corner of the smaller tower. So one more, and then when you get to the corner, we're going to use polished blackstone slabs to go across. Now you can take some stone brick blocks and start filling in this roof. So for this stone wall here, we're going to build it up to three less than the highest stone brick of the tower. And then on top, we're going to put stone brick slabs, then full blocks, then slabs again. Now you can fill in the rest with full stone brick blocks. Now let's move on to the roof of the tower. So we'll start with a full polished black stone block. Put one in the middle of each of the four sides with stairs on each side of that. Then we'll put a stair on top of the block in each of the four sides. Then we're going to go around the entire thing with a two high wall of polished black stone blocks just like this. Then we'll put a full block in the middle of each of the four sides with a stair on top. Now we're going to take another full block, put it on top, just one above the stairs, and then we'll put a wall and then an iron bar. Oh, and don't forget to put glass in your windows. And once you have glass in your windows, then we're done with this part and we can move on to the next. Now we'll come over here and we'll take a full stone brick block, go over three from the tower and in one, and then place a block, and go over three again and place a block, 
and finally go over three one more time and place another block you can just go ahead and build them all up to the same level and in one from the stone brick we'll build a stone wall leaving it four high so that we have a space for a one wide two tall window put two windows here and then for this one it'll be covered by the ground so we'll forget about the window and now on top on the fifth block we're gonna put a line of stone full stone brick blocks Now we'll take a stone brick slab and put it in each of the corners to make it look like an archway. Then take some polished blackstone slabs, make a line going across the front. You can just go ahead and fill this wall, connect it to the mountain with stone, and we'll finish the polished blackstone slabs. And place one more here, and then we'll go up with stairs. And we're going to do a total of three lines of stairs. So one more, and then once you have this row of stairs in, at this level we're going to fill it in with stone brick blocks. So just fill in this entire thing, and then on top of this, layer of stone brick blocks we're going to put polished blackstone slabs just like this and let's put some glass in the windows and then we're going to work on a dormer for this roof so in line with the middle archway we're going to break out five blocks and replace the two on each end with full blocks put a stair on top of the full block and then break the three in the middle so they connect now I can put another layer of stairs and break the one in the middle and on top we'll go with a line of slabs upside down stairs underneath now let's make a wall here out of stone bricks. We're going to have a one wide, two tall window. So you can put a, actually let's do stone instead of stone brick, and then we'll put something underneath the window and a block on top as well. Then we can put some glass in. And there we go, this part's done. Now we'll head over to the other side of the main tower. And we'll start with a stone wall, two in from the corner of the main tower. We're going to build this up five blocks tall. Now I'll take some stone brick blocks, build them up five, t five blocks tall as well. Now on the fifth block, we're going to go across with stone brick. And then the upside down stairs will go on the fourth level on each side. Now I'll take some polished blackstone slabs, and we're going to do the same roof as we did for the entryway. So now we'll take some stairs. And I'm just going to place some blocks so that it's easier to place the stairs. And we're going to go up until the left side of the window. So on the left side of the window, we're going to use polished blackstone slabs. And then on the other side, you can just fill this in with polished blackstone blocks. Next we're going to do the upper level. So right in the middle, relative to the dormer, we're going to put five stone blocks like this with one stone brick of space. And then we'll build the stone brick on the sides up to six blocks tall. Then we can build the stone wall up. So we'll build up to the same height and then one more. Five and then three and then one, just like this. Now we can connect this to the mountain with stone. Now on the other side we're going to take some stone and again we're just going to connect it to the mountain building it up to the same level as the stone brick. Now go in two and we're going to place stone. So we'll go four, five, five wide and then a stone brick and then five more stone. And we'll leave a doorway in the middle of here with a stone stair on top. We'll build this one up to four blocks above the stone brick. And here we're going to do one block less. Here we'll put two windows just like that. 
Now let's work on a window right here. So we'll go two blocks up and then do a one wide, two tall window. We'll put three upside down stairs below it with two walls on each side and then a stair on each side with an upside down stair in the middle. And here we're going to break two blocks, put a slab on the bottom, two blocks again, and then this time we're going to put a stair and an upside down stair. We're going to do the same thing on both sides. So we have something like that. Now let's start working on the roof. Here we're just going to use polished blackstone stairs. And we're going to go put the polished blackstone stairs on both sides and when they meet in the middle we'll go with a row of slabs. Now underneath we're going to put upside down stairs. Now let's move on to the next part of the roof. Here we're going to put polished blackstone stairs going to the stone brick. And then the next part will be up one. And then we're just going to take the stairs until they reach the mountainside. And in this part we can place full blocks so there's no gaps between this roof and the next roof. So we're just going to put full blocks underneath the stairs. You can break this stone brick and put a full block there. Break these two stairs so that the stairs of the other roof connect. Same here. Break this one stair so they connect. And there. Now we have the basic shape. Let's just go in and put a door here. And three walls on each side. And uh, don't forget to put glass in your windows like I did. Now we just have a few minor details to do. So you'll notice that I textured everything. I'm not going to show it on camera because it takes a long time. But basically I mixed in regular blackstone with all of the polished blackstone. And then for the stone brick I mixed in cracked stone brick. And for all the parts with stone I mixed in andesite. Now to decorate the exterior I'm just going to go around and put some leaves and berries and some greenery around the castle. Now I'm actually going to put some leaves on top of the roof. I'm going to break some of the stairs and some of the slabs and I'm going to let the leaves hang over the edge of the roof. I'm also going to put some leaves and stuff on the upper level. Put a little bush here. Now let's put a flower pot with a spruce sapling in it above this window. Put another bush on this roof here and let it hang over the edge. Now let's head over to the other side of the entryway. And I'm going to put a bush on the back side of this roof. And then let's decorate the courtyard here. Put some more bushes in the corner. Maybe a little smaller bush right here. Some berry bushes around. Now I'm going to make sort of a checkerboard pattern using smooth stone and grass. Now I'll just take some bone meal and grow some tall grass on the grass. Now we just need some light, so I'm going to put a fence with a lantern on top. Oops. I actually like the height I had it at first. So let's put the fence here with the lantern on top. Now on both sides of the doors, let's take some torches. The decorator I'm going to put an invisible item frame 
with a spruce slab and then a torch in it. So the spruce slab looks like it's holding the torch. Now let's go over and put some torches on the other side in the same way. Let's put two torches on the tower here. And then two more here and here. So yeah, that's it. We're finished. Let me know if I should do a video on the interior. Otherwise, I'll leave it to you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more.